uh, the uh, how to design the questionnaire and i was keep on telling the principle of research uh, questionnaire design then i was telling about the uh, things uh, sorry i was telling about that uh, questionnaire types and all we have completed and today we will decide discuss about uh, things to be in the mind while we are preparing the questionnaire because you see the questionnaire is a very uh, very crucial things and uh, unless and until your questionnaire is very good you will face lots of difficulties in collecting the correct information that i am keep on telling so many times so that's why you should be very much careful while preparing the questionnaire so you see uh, while you will prepare some questionnaire apart from knowing the design procedure and all these things you have to also every time keep something in your mind through that your questionnaire will move in a right direction you should not move in a wrong direction and you should not wind up in a very trouble while preparing the questionnaire so that means you should very much careful and you see uh, because for preparing the questionnaire it is not that you borrow some air from some standard questionnaire and uh, directly go to your field so that is exactly the very wrong conception some students used to develop because i have seen uh, from my long experience in the last around 13 14 years so i have seen that if whenever we tell students to prepare your questionnaire and all what they do they simply borrow uh, search in the internet and uh, take a print and get into that uh, this is my questionnaire it is exactly uh, not a questionnaire because you may follow some kind of standard questionnaire but you have to prepare your questionnaire according to your objective according to your variables according to your uh, kind of research methodology you have adopted so based on that you have to prepare your questionnaire because through that uh, it will be move in a proper guiding way and you can collect the basic information whatever is required for your uh, research and for your project see uh, the very important thing we should keep in our mind that while you are developing the questionnaire the questions should flow logically from one to the next it is not that you will jump from one to another so means if you are asking on a particular issue you should continue with that then you move to another issue and also while you are asking the question it should very logically it should flow it is not that uh, you will ask somebody that uh, how many members you have at the home first then you, uh, you ask uh, what is your name get even point so means there should be a kind of flow there should be a procedure there should be a certain steps which should be logically connected so see uh, unless and until i ask somebody what you are doing so i cannot ask his income because see if i will ask somebody what is your annual income then i'll tell what you are doing it is not logical so that means i should be very much careful uh, in asking somebody what exactly you are doing at present then what are the others the, the major source of your income then uh, then i can ask you uh, what uh, uh, apart from doing this as a primary source of income what other things you are also doing so once uh, i got all this information then i can ask that what exactly your income and uh, for month uh, from this source and from if uh, from primary source from secondary source and in that case also i can ask uh, in the from the very beginning what are the other a uh, family members in a in a house who are also engaged in some kind of uh, source of incomes uh, who are uh, part of uh, either they are in the job or they are engaged in labor activities means uh, who are the people are also the source of income for your households so that means you see general question should be asked before more specific ones you see that's why i told that uh, i should ask very specific kind of general questions so i should have a very general discussion i can ask some general question then slowly uh, from general to we'll go to the more specific you should not straight to jump to the more specific one while you are interacting with the person suppose uh, you are dealing uh, with a particular issue of uh, your research is on a particular issue and uh, what you are doing uh, you should not go and meet somebody and tell that uh, great hello uncle i am so and so came from so and so then straight away you go and ask the specific question 
because you see if you ask the specific question from the very beginning then uh, you are also violating the mechanism and through that uh, you will not able to get a flow in the answer and you will not able to get a kind of concrete answer from the respondent so because you see if you will go to the more specific question from the very beginning the respondent may not uh, took much interest in, or the respondent may not cooperate and the respond may, uh, respondent may hesitate by inside because if you start asking from a more general to a, a more specific there in between you can uh, establish the good rapport with the uh, respondents by having a certain kind of informal uh, interaction because that matters if you uh, interaction is more formal in nature so uh, the, the, the data you will collect may not be that much accurate because sometimes what happen we should be little bit informal in nature while interacting with the respondents and in the field through that what will happen we can collect more and more information and we should not be from the very beginning we should not be very very specific to our objective to be very specific to our variable but we should have a specific information about the village about him about his family uh, we should have a general information about all these things then we can go into more specific on the topic on which we are working because some general information is required in all the research thereafter as per your uh, requirement you can move suppose uh, now you are all ms students and uh, suppose i took all of you into a field and uh, i have assigned you uh, the topics Uh, different topics. You are around 30 students. I have given you 30 new topics to all of you. And but we had gone to a particular village. We had gone to a particular village, and we stayed there for five days, suppose. And I told all of you to collect uh, the information. Suppose somebody is collecting on uh, women uh, health. Somebody is collecting on and the uh, education system in the village. some uh, means suppose somebody is collecting primary education somebody is collecting higher education then somebody uh, might be collecting the health in general in the village suppose somebody is engaged in collecting the natural resource management in the village somebody is collecting the development projects and uh, uh, livelihood enhancement in the village and then somebody is working also natural resource management and sustainable development in the village then somebody is working on uh the agricultural uh, problems uh, the villagers are facing so there are and so many issues are there in the villages and i told suppose 30 students with a 30 topics you walked on 30 aspects but you see then suppose there are 300 villagers households in the village and i told each students to collect at, uh, the information from 10 households each so then what will happen and i distributed that these are the households which is for student number uh, x these are the households for the student number y these are the households for the student number z i have distributed so what do you have to do so you uh, cannot feel that i am working on health i can go and start working ask the question on health i am working on natural resource management i will go and start to work ask on natural resource management i am specifically working on women's health and i can go and start to ask women about the health issues what exactly you have to do you have to go and uh, the design that ten individuals when we will start meeting one by one you can have a more kind of general discussion with, with that person then go to more specific as per your requirement either relating to natural resource or relating to the livelihood issues or agricultural issues or health issues so that means you should be more specific accordingly so then uh, the another major problem is that earlier questions should not influence the response to the later ones so that means you should prepare the question in such a way that that uh, if you have already asked the question which is very relating uh, to another question you should avoid that because you should not ask such a question that which will again influence your answer in the later course of time so that's why i always tell if you are asking on livelihood issues you ask all the questions relating to livelihood issues if you are asking the question on a uh, means even if i'm telling even if you are doing your uh, uh, suppose uh, now think about uh, even if you all 30 people have gone to the field 
and even if you are working on suppose health if you are working on uh, specifically suppose if you are working on human health you might be having three or four objective or two objective whatever so that means what i'm telling here even if you are asking on health issues also so you are uh, covering so many aspect in that issue and who are the person uh, engaged in providing uh, the health facilities at home who, wherever you are uh, who is uh, taking a decision of sending you to the hospitals so that means uh, means coping when you are dealing with the coping behavior so who are the person is uh, uh, taking all the decisions in this uh, question of sending to the hospital and uh, whomever you are meeting first whether you are uh, going to uh, fast in uh, the village medicine man or an ayurvedic doctor or a homeopathic doctor or an allopathic doctor and if you are going which hospital you are preparing there are so many issues will come and who are the person whether if uh, suppose a uh, children's uh, health and at the same time a old person's health at your home is in trouble and uh, whomever you are giving fast importance and all these things so there are so many aspect will come and you have to uh, think about all this aspect and <clears throat> accordingly you clock them that what are the objective and the objective wise you can take the variables and variable wise you clock all the questions into one segments so that will be good for you and which one will not, which will not give you a score for again repeating the same question again and again it should flow in a natural way and should not disturb the psychological and mental form of the respondent so you see it should be, you should be very much careful that while you are asking you should maintain it there should be a natural flow it is not that uh, uh, means you become very formal you become very stringent and uh, uh, a kind of uh, so that the uh, you will divert from the main intention no so you should have a kind of natural flow while you are asking the student asking any respondents and it should not disturb the psychology uh, aspect of the respondent suppose uh, <coughs> you should not uh, directly ask such a question to a person so which will uh, lose its psychological and mental, uh, problem through that you will not able to proceed further so while you are asking very sensitive questions so suppose well, you you are not aware about whether somebody uh, has a uh, uh, lost his child or somebody has lost his uh, family members parents no should, while you are asking some question relating to the all aspect also you should be very much sensible and you should be very much careful that what should ask and how to ask that matters a lot because the way you are asking and even if you ask something which a, a little bit hot the respondent immediately you would draw that question and tell that i am extremely sorry and uh, i was not aware about this so um, please uh, uh, means have patience you know you should means uh, have a kind of uh, uh, console at him or her while asking the question and you should avoid all this thing then question should flow from the least sensitive to the most sensitive because you see this is a very uh, very important aspect so it means you should, while you are asking the question you should be very much sensitive in that sense Uh, with the question which is very least sensitive for an individual or for a society to a more sensitive or most sensitive it should flow in that way you should not ask the question directly which is most sensitive uh, to a person suppose regarding the health and you are not aware about him and you cannot directly ask somebody that uh, are you suffering from um, heart attack sorry heart heart disease you can you should not ask like that because uh, there are some people they may mind the respond negatively so that's why you should be very much careful that how you have to collect the uh, things you see suppose the very another sensitive also generally the income because you see generally uh, the people in a village they never tell about their income and they never tell about your investment they never tell about their savings so most of the time i have said the students they have a uh, one complaint sir i could not able to collect the uh, people's income i could not able to collect their investment i could not able to collect their saving but i used to tell that there is something wrong has happened in your case for which you could not able to collect all these informations so that means you see you if you uh, ask somebody that uh, uh, um, how many uh, toothbrush you are buying uh, uh, in a year do you think somebody will able to answer 
so that means you should be very much uh, kind of sensitive uh, what kind of question you are asking and uh, uh, whether uh, somebody can uh, answer it or not and whether somebody has put it in, in an important aspect to answer it uh, or not see if somebody will ask you also how many tutras you are using in a year are you is it a part also to answer no because we, we never keep all these things in the minds to answer so like that we see if some if you will ask somebody's income generally this is a general psychology in the minds of the people that uh, i should not reveal my income because if i reveal my income the real income i may not able to get uh, this is the benefits given by the government in the future because if my real income will be get into a very record then that will be problem for him or her so that's why it is in habit and and if you ask to the people in the specifically in the rural area what is your saving what where you have invested they they will have only one common answer sir no saving no investment sir whatever we are running we are consuming with very basic with the tell sir sir saving kaam ho raha hai जितने तो हम लोगों का इनकम है बहुत कम इनकम है उतना तो हम लोगों का खाना पीना में खत्म हो जाता है मीन्स वॉट एवर वी आर आने एवरी थिंग स्पेंड इन ईटिंग एंड रनिंग आवर फैमिली इट इज इम्पॉसिबल सो यू सी देन माय स्टूडेंट्स यू टेल सर इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कलेक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज दे आर टेलिंग वट एवर वी आर आर्निंग वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग सो आई यूज टू टेल ओके हाउ टू कलेक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू गो इन ए डिफरेंट वे ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड योर इनकम योर इनकम लुक्स वेरी लेस गुड uh for that you are facing lots of problem i understand i am uh, i am really very sorry for that and uh, the government has not done uh, much thing in its area uh, but uh, uh, why you are not developing of uh, saving some of your income for your future generation for your kids for their education if tomorrow you will have certain kind of health issue or you should save some money then i will, then you can ask him in this direction so there are different schemes are there available in the in your uh, area there are postal office there are some insurance scheme there are some saving scheme then the government of india has started a janthan yojana so where you in zero balance you can open a bank account uh, you, and uh, whenever you want you can save some money there and have you uh, and there are llc life insurance schemes do whether is there any representative or agent in your village who is to do the uh, llc in your village Or do they have visited you? Have you come in contact with an LIC agent? You can open a small LIC by paying hundred rupees per month. You can open a Janan uh, Jojana bank account in the bank where you can save some money in the bank at least. So then, what will happen if if you advise like that? <coughs> he will start answering. Yes, sir. I uh, had a small LIC. Yes, sir. I opened a. Uh, um, small uh, i opened a bank account in jannan jojana assuming that the government will pay some money so then slowly you ask okay very good you have opened a life insurance okay who is the agent where you have uh, opened this uh, insurance and all so uh, okay good how much you are paying is it 100 200 300 then he will also hide that he will also tell that okay uh, no no i am giving only very very less then he will not tell you the quantity so then you can insist him and so at least you should submit 1000 rupees per month so that these are the scheme which will help you a lot he will tell like that then what will happen he will start telling that okay last year i deposited this much money because of this problem i could not able to submit so all these things slowly slowly will come about his investment about his saving all these things but the question is how you are asking how you are holding how you are taking him into confidence because simply you will task Uh, have you saved some? Are you consuming all the money, or you are saving in the something in the bank? So definitely, you tell no. I am not saving any single money, correct? Because this is a general psychology of all the humans. So that's why you should be very much careful while asking the question. Through that, at the end of the day, you can come with details, income, details, expenditure, and all. So sometimes you will see that people tell my income is two hundred rupees per annum. Ask them how much you are spending for your children's educations, or uh, they will tell no, sir. Uh, we are spending 500 rupees per children's education per month. I have to, I have given to tuition to my uh, childrens. Then they will, then you will ask how much you are spending on food, sir. Market ka rate to bahot jada hai. 
that are very costly all the vegetables dal rice everything in the market even though i am getting rice from the government uh, that uh, under food uh, that uh, right to food schemes but that rice is not enough because we consume rice in it two times so sometimes i have to buy some more rice from the market so through that what will happen then you will tell a figure that i am spending this much my amount of money so then what will, and then you don't go for a counter one then you will find ultimately that he will spend he will tell you that his total expenditure is 1000 rupees per month but he told you income is 200 rupees so very interestingly then you will be very shocked to know that how come somebody's expenditure is 1000 rupees when his monthly income is 200 rupees so it is impossible because he has to spend once you can in one once in a year or twice uh, once in a or twice in a year he can his monthly or the income uh, sorry expenditure may go beyond his income but it should not be regular one but whatever he is telling that is much much regular in the sense so that's what i'm telling you should be very much careful and all this kind of aspect all this kind of uh, uh, your way of asking the question will help you in getting the information Uh, from somebody so uh, then similar question together whatever i have already told you use transition between section so means you if you are shifting from one section to another section in your questionnaire so you should have a give a clear decision you should not immediately keep on asking the question throw that what will happen he will be disturbed and he may not answer because for you shifting is easy for him shifting his mind from one aspect of question to other aspect of question it is not so easy so you should have a give some kind of a transition you should have like some gap you can convert his uh, divert his brain into some other aspect then slowly get into then another section so anybody any uh, doubt on this uh, then we can proceed further anybody any doubt on this hello hmm hello no, sir no, sir uh, are you clear complete clear yes sir sir so in future uh, you can made a very good question hmm I will try. Now, are you clear or not? Because that is my major concern. Yes, yes, yes. Um, because it is not that uh, you people will tell again, sir. Uh, I have lots of doubt. I cannot understand it all. So, please uh, feel free to ask. Because you see, uh, don't hesitate. Because you see, there are so many students. They feel that okay, in a common platform, I will not ask the question. because uh, they feel same to ask but my sincere request to all of you so please feel free to ask question uh, otherwise you will be in the trouble in the future so you should be uh, very much uh, careful about uh, all these things so through that you will be not in trouble uh, in future so anybody please i am encouraging all of you any Uh, doubt anything hmm? because some of you are not asking anything hmm? only some students are asking hmm? so job is it clear so job george is it audible or not okay And just me? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
your doubts are not clear and you will face lots of uh, difficulties in uh, future. So that's why you should be very uh, clear. Ostrua uh, uh, Swain. Clear because for PhD students it is highly essential to know because you will use it in. Hmm? So clear now. Huh? So you should be more serious huh? because uh, PhD students uh, it is highly essential because immediately you will use these aspects in your field. And uh, my coverage is not only targeting MS students. I am targeting uh, my target is first PhD then which is and I'm going in a more simpler way, which will help also the MS students. And because I'm trying to cover all aspects which will help you uh, both PG and the PhD students. Yes, yes. So, so should be uh, very careful about all these things. Okay, so then we'll proceed. Okay. See, are the focus any survey or questionnaire? We should be very focused in our questionnaire. And it is crucial to know how to ask the question in a written or spoken form because you see that's why I'm telling that it matters a lot because you see suppose you have a questionnaire and if the person whom you have sent to the field is not trained, is not able to ask the question in a proper way, then he or she may not get the proper answer. So that's why you should, it is very crucial to know that how to ask the question and uh, how to write the question, how to translate the question because sometimes what happens, uh, uh, some students translate their schedule or translate their questionnaire so into the different regional languages but usually what happen if your translation is not good then again the meaning will be changed also so that's why you should be very much careful and as a PhD students or as a PG students whenever you go uh, to collect the data from the field you should be very much uh, um, well acquainted with the language in that area otherwise you can take a interpreter uh, the language who can translate and ask and uh, the person whom you will take also should be very much uh, aware about uh, the language uh, at least the english because if you will share in english if that person is not able to understand the english properly so he may ask uh, the different question to the villagers and at the same time your output will be something different because uh, generally what happens the way you ask the question helps a lot in getting certain information and generally keep one thing in the mind whenever you ask some question to a person you are not only uh, taking the answer what is the link you are also observing his mental condition his way of response and whether he or she is uh, telling lie whether he is or she is reluctant in giving answer all these things you can understand if you uh, clearly observe somebody's face somebody's mood and somebody's uh, uh, gesture while speaking with you. Because unless not until you are very much uh, aware about all this thing, it will be problematic. And then questionnaire layout. The layout and physical attractiveness of a questionnaire are very, very important aspects. Questionnaire should be designed to appear as short as possible. Because that I am repeatedly telling, it should not be very long. It should be very small in size through that what will happen. The moment you meet somebody, interact with somebody, uh, the moment somebody saw that in your hand, there are a very big question with a, with a big volume, with a huge pages. So he or she may feel reluctant in answering you. So that's why you should be very much careful about that. Questionnaire should not appear overcrowded. Questionnaire should be very uh, clear. It should be uh, unnecessary question you should not ask. That is we always claim it should be overcrowded. Leave lots of space for open-ended questions. So if you have a question, an open-ended question in your questionnaire, you give a design space. That should be space should be very uh, much, very much space should be provided. Otherwise, if you provide only very few space, small space, then you cannot write the answer. And again, the way you write the answer in a very haphazardly, so you will not able to understand in the while you will get into the uh, analysis and while you enter into the data also. Questionnaire in booklet form are often recommended. If you can uh, prepare the questionnaire in a booklet form, that is also good. But uh, only thing is that uh, if it is not a project, if it is not a kind of, uh, if it is just for your PG and PhD, it is not wise also in the sense, uh, unnecessarily spending the money. Because uh, that also you should think about. Because 
it should be in a booklet form which looks good but fine but you should also think about your cost for what purpose you are making the questionnaire then uh, in the first uh, you uh, look into the provide the first name at least provide the name of the company doing research provide the region for survey and topics and state that no selling will be involved and no personal data and all that and tell respondent approximate time to complete reinforce that respondent time is appreciated invite participant so what i'm telling so how you will open how you will start the uh, and uh, when I, a, a dealing with the respondent how will interact with the respondent first provide your name and uh, ask his name and also in the questionnaire your company name should be there who is doing the research means your university your company if you are working for a company if you are doing a project for an ngo if you are doing project for an, you see suppose we are doing project for different ministry and different organization whenever we do in our in the front of our questionnaire the heading is uh, we, the title of our project then the sponsoring agency name also we mention for whom we are doing then also you clarify to the people that the region for your survey and uh, also tell the people from the very beginning that uh, this survey is not for any kind of uh, uh, means you it should be very ethical in the nature and you should uh, tell the people from the very beginning that uh, your uh, somebody is getting this chance Huh? Hello, somebody's uh, video is on. Huh. So then uh, you uh, should be very much careful about all this, uh, all this sense. Then uh, in the beginning, you tell the respondent that this much time will be required to complete so that he will be mentally uh, ready. And also sometimes what happen if before going to interact with some individual, yeah, you consult him, take some time, ask him, sir, I want to interact with you. When can I come and when can I interact with you? Through that, he or she can tell you some of this is her uh, free time. Through that, you can go on that time and interact. That will be very good. And invite uh, him also to participate in a different function or something. So you should not, uh, while leaving him, you should uh, respond to him in a very positive way to the, while in the beginning you tell namaskar and while you are leaving also convey the thanks and also do the namaskar and tell him that i'll meet you again if anything is required and also we'll be in touch uh, uh, in the future and if sometimes you are visiting my area where i'm staying in the city and whatever uh, please uh, visit me and keep my number so we'll be in touch and all so that uh, thanks for time ask if that a positive experience remind them that their opinions are count and tell that whatever you have told we will keep uh, i'm thankful to all of your uh, all your experience and the time you have given and also i'll keep your response in very confidential manner i will never share all this information with anybody so which is very very crucial so these are the things which is not required for you uh, i am not getting into that so so this is uh, the last schedule is not uh, required for you so anybody any doubt on this 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 is on questionnaire design so anybody any doubt on this you just tell then uh, we'll discuss on that